Watch carefully. There's something different about the overgrowth terrain. Did you see it? How about now? That's right, we've now added decals. Lots and lots of decals. Full of normal mapped goodness to give those scenes an extra je ne sais quoi. Alright, let's delete this there mess and start showing you how it all works. First get into the decal editor mode by pressing Control 2 Then push Control l to open up the decal browser. Pick out a decal you like and then click on the ground to place it. The decal will map nicely to whatever is directly underneath it, even lumpy terrain. All the intuitive controls from the object editor have been carried over to the decal editor, so rotating, scaling, and translating decals will be very familiar to you. As you might have guessed, clones of a decal can be made by holding Alt and translating the decal. Let's make things interesting by adding a new decal to the mix. By default, new decals will always appear on top of old ones. You can still select submerged decals by putting the mouse over them and scrolling down on the mouse wheel. If you hold shift and scroll the mouse wheel down, the currently selected decal will dive underneath the decals below it. Alright, I'm going to add the white rock texture. And I'll grab the moss texture. And as you might expect, the brush tool is back, so we can paint the moss wherever we want. So we've handled the simple selection and placement situations. But now let's get to some more complicated projection tools. Welcome to the rock. Let's load up a rock texture. As you can see, the rock texture is spilling onto both the terrain and our rock model. But I'm not sure I want rocks on my rock. Fortunately, by holding I, I can force the decal to only map to one object, the object that's directly underneath my mouse. In this case, that object was the terrain. Let's create another complex decal scenario. We'll start by loading in a basket. Next, let's throw moss on everything. Maybe in hindsight, we realize we didn't want the moss to project onto the basket. Don't worry, you can always select a misbehaving decal, then hold O, and click on any objects you don't want the decal to project onto. You'll know you've done it right if the object turns red. And there's one final projection control we want to show you. By default, the decals will automatically pick their own projection angle by using an average of normals of the surface that they're projecting onto. However, if you want direct manual control, just press P while you have a decal selected, and this will open up a box representation of the decal's projector. And you can treat this box just like a regular box you'd find in the old map editor we've shown you. So that's all the major decal functionality we've put into Overgrowth so far. Be sure to keep up with the latest Overgrowth development news on the Wolfire blog. I'm a firing Malaysia. Mm -hmm.